Welcome, everybody. Uh, this is Chris from DocketWise, and I'm so happy that you're able to join this webinar on Smart Forms version 3.0 and uh, Packet Assembly. So, in this webinar, we will be going over this upgrade to Smart Forms, which includes improved navigation, an invite tab that allows you to send and monitor the status of your invitations in real time, a Packet Assembly feature that enables you to include files and supporting documents to your Smart Forms, and uh, we also have an automatically generated table of contents and a new option to share uh, your, your assembled packets of your forms and files entirely or in part uh, with your clients. So in order to demonstrate these new features, I will be creating and completing a hypothetical case for naturalization using Smart Forms 3.0 with Packet Assembly. First, let's get started on clicking. First, let's get started by clicking on the create new button and selecting forms to create our new form. And the first thing that I want to bring your attention to is our improved navigation, uh, which consists of a more streamlined navigation bar located at the top of your screen. This uh, navigation bar is actually broken down into four sections, which are uh, the assemble tab, the invite tab, the intake tab, and the review tab. So the assemble tab is where you are able to select all the forms and files you would like to uh, include assign those forms to contacts, as well as other options for assembling forms and packets, which we will be going over more in depth in, in just a moment. So next, the invite tab is, of course, where you can send and monitor your invitations to your clients and to collaborate on the intake. The intake tab is the questionnaire portion of the smart form from which all the information provided will populate the actual forms included. And finally, the review tab is where you are now, where you are able to review, download, and print your forms and packet. So while we are already on the assemble step, let's first assign it out to one of our contacts and their matter. Um, and then we'll select the forms that are needed for the application. So let me just search for my contact. That will be Ricardo. And I'll choose one of it. I'll choose his naturalization matter as well. So here. I will just type in uh, the forms here that I'll be including. So it'll be an N400. Um, and let's just say I'm also including a G28 and a G1145. So I have all of those forms included. And also I will assign this contact as the beneficiary for the N400. So now because I know that this beneficiary will be the same across all forms, I can click, I can actually click this right here. Uh, to automatically apply this contact as the beneficiary to all forms. And if I would like to change the order in which the forms and or files appear, I can simply drag and drop uh, them how, how I see fit. So I would like to put the G1145 first, of course, followed by the G28 and the N400. So we now have this in the correct order. And also, because I, I know I will be using this, uh, this combination of forms in the future for other naturalization applications, I can click this checkbox right here to save that combination for later, and then also just enter a title to give that. So I'll just call this naturalization. So this can actually be selected from the add forms dropdown after I add this in uh, forms that I make moving forward after I have this saved. So you all hear the MDA files with, with my forms in order to create a packet. The file types that you can see that can be included are, as you see, the PDF, um, and then also images in the formats of PNG, JPG, and JPEG. So in order to include a file, what I would do is simply I would search by the file name or the client name. So if I have any files, um, let's just say Amy, I would just search for her name and I can see all files corresponding to that client. So finally, I can also include an automatically generated table of contents with my forms uh, or packets if I would like to. And in order to do that, I would just simply click this uh, checkbox icon, make sure it is checked. And then I would have my automatically generated table of contents with my forms or my packet. So now that I've completed the initial, in, uh, sorry, the initial assemble step, uh, at least for now, we can go ahead and move on to the next section. I can always come back uh, to this step or any other step if I need to make any changes or updates. So I'll go ahead and click the save and proceed button. And here in the invite tab, you can see all the parties in my form. In this case, we only have one party because it is of course an application for naturalization. But if it were a case with a petitioner or a beneficiary and a beneficiary or any other parties such as a joint sponsor, 
or anything else um, that would also appear here as well. So the invitation that I send here will give access to fill in uh, the intake or the smart form questionnaire, which we'll be going over in just a moment. So you will see here that I can invite my, my contact, the party that's already here. So um, let's go ahead and click that just to invite my contact to fill this in. So it automatically fills in his name and then we can send this. Let's say we also want to customize the invitation access. Um, and we will say, um, please complete this intake and upload all requested files to your client portal. So I'll send this out. And then here you can also see the status of the invitation along with the date that the status was updated. Uh, once my client has completed and uh, accepted this invitation, I will also see those status. I will see that status um, along with the date that that status was um, initiated. So I also um, can resend this if I need to, just by clicking this resend button. And I can also, let's say I need to invite um, another party who's, who's not in this. I could just simply click on the invite someone else button and invite another contact from here. All right. Uh, okay, just one second. All right, so now that we have sent out the invitation uh, for the client, now that we have sent out the invitation for the client to fill in, um, I can go ahead and click on the save and proceed, which will take me uh, to the intake section. Let's go ahead and click that. And here um, in the intake tab, as I mentioned before, the, which this is the questionnaire portion of the smart form from which the information provided will populate the actual forms included. Uh, this can be filled out both by you and by your invited clients. Uh, for the most part, this intake uh, or smart form questionnaire section has remained the same, but there are two changes that I would like to note. Uh, the first being that we have updated the style to uh, have an even more visually appearing and easy to use electronic questionnaire. And also we have moved the more actions button to these three dots right here. And you can see that we have all the same options before uh, printing the questionnaire, toggling to show only flagged questions, sharing the intake and the option to translate the questionnaire into one of our eight uh, currently available languages. However, uh, you will also see that we have um, a new option here uh, called share documents. This option allows you to share the prepared PDF forms included as well as any files included in the packet uh, via email in one PDF. And um, you can customize which ones are included. So let's go ahead and click that. So here we can choose which parts of the packet we would like to include and share uh, with the clients and whether or not we would like to share an editable, or we'll send it as an editable PDF or not. Um, for now, I will just move on and share this uh, with my clients once, once we have all of those forms completed. And now let's move on to the review tab. So I'll just click this right here. And finally, in the review tab, I can see my table of contents, which has been automatically generated along with the forms and files that I have included in my packet. Um, so here, we'll just click on this and we can navigate between the table of contents, forms included, and then also once I have files, I will be able to navigate to see those as well. Uh, one thing that I would like to note uh, is that I can change the names of the forms and or files included uh, that we see right here in the table of contents. In, or, in, in order to do that, I would simply navigate back to the assemble step and I could edit the names from there. So once I have completed my form and packet, I can download the entire package as one single PDF document. And in order to do that, I would simply click the print uh, printer icon in the top right corner right here. So now let's actually go back to the invite tab and check on the status of the invitation. Um, that we have sent our clients. So we'll go ahead and click on invite. We can see, actually, let's give it a refresh. So we can see this is actually turned, returned for review uh, today. So um, that's good that this is returned for review now. Um, it appears that they've completed the questionnaire and um, we can go ahead and review that. And after reviewing, 
Uh, the forms are confirming that everything is correct. We can go ahead and add the supporting documents as well as update the titles of the evidentiary documents appearing in the table of contents. So in order to do that, let's navigate back to the assemble tab. And then here in order to include the documents, I'll just simply, uh, I'll simply search by contact. So I'll search for Ricardo, who is my contact, who has uploaded these documents. And let's just make sure we include all of these. So I'll include this one, 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 and uh, finally this one as well. So now we have all of our documents here. Um, and let's say uh, uh, that we would like to um, change how these are appearing because currently um, it will be listed as such in the table of contents. So let's first find the LPR card. We'll change the title of that. Um, here we go. So we'll just um, put this right in here. Uh, applicant's lawful permanent resident card. I would like this to go actually first right after the forms. Um, next we have Let's go uh, edit the name of the passport. So we see that right here, applicant's current Colombian passport. And I would like this to appear actually second in the order. Um, all right, so next let's do the marriage certificate between the applicants and the original petitioning US um, citizen. And we will find that and we'll rename that. Let's call it applicants marriage certificate demonstrating marital status and marriage to original petitioning US spouse. I'll put that uh, right here. And let's say now we'll do their joint IRS tax return transcripts. Um, so we'll find that right here. Transcripts, and I'll move that right below the marriage certificate. Next, we have, of course, their joint lease. So I'll be renaming that uh, after I locate it, I'll find that here. I will add that. Um, next, let's move on to renaming the joint, uh, the documents for the joint checking account that they have. So go ahead and put this title in here and we will move this up. And I actually forgot uh, one thing right here. So that would be the spouse's passport. So I will put this in here, and this should actually be fourth um, in the line of evidence. So right after their marriage certificate, I'll put that. And finally, we have the birth certificate of um, the couple's child. So I will put that in there. So finally, let's head back to the review section. I'll just click that right here. And here you can see that the updated names are now appearing on the table of contents. Um, if I want to make any additional edits uh, to my table of contents, I can disable the form sync and edit this as I would any Word document. So I'm actually going to go ahead and do that. Let's turn off the form sync. And then here, let's say that I would like to change the alignment right here, um, just so it's appearing. That I, so just so I have more room for the titles of my documents that I'm including. So I'll drag that over to, let's say here. And then also um, I want to make uh, an additional edit here. So let's say I want to include like a break um, between the, in, in the table of contents between the forms and the supporting documentation. So all I have to do is click in here. Uh, uh, let's say that I want to add a row right below. I'll add that in and then I'll type in, let's say supporting documents or supporting documentation. Uh, I can go ahead and bold this as well. I'll just highlight that and click on the bold option. And there we go. So while we're here, um, I can actually even share these parts of the questionnaire. Uh, well, sorry, I can share these uh, parts of the packet with my, uh, with my client. So let's go ahead and share those completed forms for their, uh, for their review and their signature and for them to send that back to us signed. So we'll go ahead and click the three, um, three dot icon right here, which is also available um, in intake and review. So I'll click that, click on share documents. And let's say all I want to share is just, um, all I want to share is the completed forms. Uh, there's no need to show the table of contents or the files that are included. So go ahead and uncheck the files so those are not shared. And I'll go ahead and just share 
Um, there's no need for the G1145 either, obviously. So I'll go ahead and share the G28 and the N400, and I do not want that to be an editable PDF. So I'll go ahead and click share right here, and that will share uh, these forms as one PDF document via email to my client that I select right here. So let's type in uh, Ricardo, and then we will go ahead and click share. Great, so now that that's shared, let's say that I also want to go ahead and print the entire uh, completed package. In order to do that, I would just simply, as I mentioned before, click on the printer icon in the top right corner. If I do want to print anything individually, I can click on the printer icon across the black bar on the top of the screen um, and navigate to the specific form and or document that I had included. So um, in order to do that, uh, to print all, I will simply click on the printer icon as I mentioned and I will have my downloaded packet um, saved on saved where I where, where I choose to. And there we go. Okay. And just like that, I have sent my questionnaire out to my client um, for completion. I have sent out the forms for review and signature. And finally, I have downloaded my packet, including all forms and documents. I hope you all enjoyed the webinar and I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Thank you very much.